come back with Jenny Farley, Nicole Polizzi, and my girl Shirley Strawberry. Now, uh, let's move on to our next topic, everybody. All right. Kylie Jenner's 25-year-old boyfriend, Tiger, is uh, singing about her in his new song, Stimulated. The lyrics include the line, they say she young, I should have waited. She a big girl, dog, when she stimulated. Oh, my virgin ears, Steve. Oh. Kaka. Oh. Is this in bad taste, Jenny? Oh, it makes me so uncomfortable. She's a baby. If I, if, all right, if my daughter fast forward turned 17, 18 years old and some guy wrote that, me and her father would be knocking on his door. Exactly. Like, and the mom's all for it. That just freaks me out. Yeah. Guaranteed, Kris Jenner is obsessed with the fact that her daughter's not only dating a rapper, because he's famous, so it brings her up too, but the fact that she's being in his rap song. He's a broke but rapper. Yet, I feel like she's happy about that. Like, normal moms would be like, excuse me, like, you're talking about my little baby having sex with you, and what is he, 25, and she's just turned 18, right? Yeah. yeah. I, I do have Weird. an 18-year-old. I would be in prison. I'm just yeah, gonna exactly. tell you. Exactly. I, I would be in prison, Steve. Yeah. This, is, this is so horrible. How, how disrespectful can one person be toward someone who he supposedly loves is his girl? This is so... And she loves it. She's like, oh, it's so cool. Yeah, like, yeah. Ow. And, and you don't, right. And you don't have your mom there telling you that this is disrespectful and, and no guy should talk to you or treat you or sing about you like that or rap yeah. about you like that. Agreed. It's ridiculous. Well, see, first of all, put the picture up. Let, let, let me show you. If this is my daughter, this photo has one thing missing. Yellow crime tape. Exactly. See. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> you be my cellmate. Yeah. <laughs> See, first of all, look, our daughters, when they leave the house, you, you, you know, you can be the best parent in the world. They still have the power to make their own decisions. Yeah. But at the end of the day, I'm the father, and I have a, an obligation. And you put this lyric in here about my little girl. We will not be taking press photos. No. Because <laughs> you won't be photographable. Right. And what, <laughs> all, I'm just saying, see, I'm gonna just tell you, see me? Now, I've met them. Mm -hmm. I had dinner with the whole family oh, one night over in the south of France. I can't say a single negative thing. They're the nicest people. I've never heard them say a negative thing about a soul. They're really, really nice. I'm kicking his ass. <laughs> Yeah. I'm kicking his ass. There's no way I'm letting this go down. Yeah. All right, here's another one. Uh, Hulk Hogan is telling folks that he fell into a deep depression, even contemplating suicide, after a video where he repeatedly used the N-word was leaked. Uh, the wrestler says he grew up around such language from both white and black friends in his Tampa neighborhood. Now all he wants is forgiveness. Is there any excuse for that type of behavior, Jen? Um, I don't know. I didn't see the video. Uh, yeah. Things like that make me uncomfortable. But yeah. um, is he upset because he got caught? Or... That was my line. <laughs> <laughs> and mine too. That was what well, I was going to say. Gonna say whatever. I, I have. have say. We're all going to say that, right? <laughs> I have done Fine. and said things I've never intentionally meant to hurt people or disrespect people. I've said it, but like, what kind of company are you, too, you shouldn't be saying that. And what kind of company are you around when you're being videoed and exploited? Like, you're just hanging out with bad people, you're putting yourself in bad positions, and on top of it, you're saying things when you're in the media that you shouldn't be saying. And now I feel like, because it's out, he's sorry. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, I kind of what I was gonna say. Um, <laughs> you didn't let me finish. Well, you like started with it, I'm like, cool, now I don't know what to say. But, I mean, when you're in, you know, the public eye and you say something that you shouldn't be saying, especially that, everybody's gonna take it seriously. It could potentially ruin your career and that's exactly what happened to him. Mm -hmm. um, but he shouldn't have crossed those lines with saying that word. Um, I, you know, he wants forgiveness now. We could forgive you, but yeah. stop saying the word. The word is offensive. Mm -hmm. You said, said it's it. offensive. It, it is offensive. Just like any other racial slur, 
is offensive to that certain certain group of people, but you say you grew up around these people. Okay, well, you're a grown man now. What's your excuse? <laughs> What's yeah. your excuse now? Yeah. You, when you grow up, you you educate yourselves. You, right. you know better, so you do better. That's the whole point of growing up. So as far as him wanting to commit suicide and all of that, I don't want him to do that. Just stop saying the word. It is offensive. Mm -hmm. Period. Wow. Period. You know, uh, look, like, Shirley, what you made was a great point. I've used the N word, I, you can't count the times because of where I grew up and how I grew up. But ain't nobody heard me say it on TV. Ain't nobody heard me say it in a movie. I have never used the word in a comedy special because it's not acceptable. Now, do I forgive him? Yeah. Do I think his career should be ruined because of it? No, I don't. Because if we're ruining people's career for that word right there, ain't none of us gonna be working. <laughs>